Hello everyone, the topic for today's video is an introduction to the world of differential equations. We all know that the laws of the universe are written in the language of mathematics and change is the law of nature. We also know that the rate of change of one quantity with respect to another quantity is measured or captured via derivatives in terms of mathematics. So this is the reason that the study of differential equations becomes highly important when it comes to talking about its practical applications or relevance to the modern world problems. An equation which involves the derivatives of an unknown function is called a differential equation. So let's begin by the definition of a differential equation. It's an equation that involves an unknown function say y and it's one or more derivatives that's what we call as a differential equation and this unknown function happens to be called as the solution of the differential equation later on. Now we know that the study of differential equations has three principal goals, you know, uh, to discover the differential equation that prescribes a specified physical situation and to find either uh, exactly or approximately the appropriate solution and then later on to interpret the solution that is found. Now before we move on to those uh, problems which uh, model uh, the real world scenarios in terms of differential equations, it's important to understand the basics of differential equation. So let's begin by understanding the notions of order and degree of a differential equation. By order of a differential equation, we mean the order of the highest order derivative appearing in the differential equation. And by degree of a differential equation, we mean the power of the highest order derivative provided the equation is a polynomial in y and its derivatives. Let's consider this differential equation to understand what order and degree mean. Look at this differential equation d2y by dx2 plus 3dy by dx minus 8 equal to e to power x. Now to determine the order of this differential equation, we need to check what all derivatives of y are involved in this differential equation. We can see that the first order derivative is involved and the second order derivative is involved. So there are two derivatives present in this differential equation. Now order as per the definition is defined to be the order of the highest order derivative. So the highest order derivative happens to be 2 here. So the order of this differential equation is 2. Degree by definition is defined to be the power of the highest order derivative provided the differential equation is a polynomial in y and its derivatives. Now look at this differential equation. It's clearly a polynomial in y and its derivatives. And the order of the highest order derivative is 2. And if we look at its power, then the power of the highest order derivative happens to be 1. And therefore, the degree of this differential equation is 1. Now to illustrate more examples to you, uh, let me first make a point here which is very important that order of a differential equation is always defined, right? If you're talking about a differential equation, the order will certainly be there. But the degree of a differential equation may or may not be defined. So I'm going to exhibit some uh, illustrations to you which are going to make this uh, idea very clear degree of a differential equation may or may not be defined. So let's move on to see some more examples to understand this idea better. Let's consider these examples now to understand the idea of degree and order better. So I'm going to write the order of every differential equation here and the degree in the side column. Look at this one. Now this is a differential equation involving just one derivative, the second order derivative of y with respect to x and hence the order happens to be 2 because the highest order derivative appearing in this differential equation happens to be 2. Now to consider what its degree is, I have to first see that it's a polynomial in y and its derivatives. We can see that the power of d2y by dx2 is 1 and there is no other term involving y or any other derivative. Therefore, the degree of this differential equation can be straight away taken as the power of d2y by dx2 which happens to be 1 here. Therefore, the order of this differential equation is 2 and the degree is 1. Look at the second one. Now, this differential equation again involves a single derivative which happens to be dy by dx, first order derivative of y with respect to x and hence the order happens to be 1 because there is no other derivative, it's just the first order derivative which is present in the differential equation. But to decide the degree, we have to take a pause. 
if you look at this then you can see that it's not involving a polynomial power for y with respect to x it's involving a fractional power to decide its degree you cannot decide the degree in its original form you have to get rid of this fractional power by taking cube on both sides when you take cube on both the sides the equation becomes dy by dx whole square is equal to x plus 1 cube so until and unless you put this differential equation in this form you cannot comment on degree the order is certainly 1 but the degree cannot be 2 by 3 degree is never a fraction so the degree is defined to be 2 in this case because you cannot decide the degree in its original format when you have to decide the degree you have to get rid of the fractional power which happens to be 1 by 3 by taking cube on both the sides which uh, you know uh, lands into this differential equation and hence the degree happens to be 2 not 2 by 3. The next one is again a very important illustration in terms of uh, defining degree. The order certainly is 1 because there is just a single derivative involved which happens to be of first order therefore the order happens to be 1. To decide the degree of this, we cannot decide the degree because sine of dy by dx is an infinite expansion. We know sine x is what? Sine x is x minus x cubed by 3 factorial, x 5 by 5 factorial and so on. It never ends, it never terminates. So we cannot really define the power of dy by dx here and hence such equations do not have a well-defined degree. So the degree of this differential equation is not defined the order happens to be one but the degree is not defined now let's look at the fourth one now now again you have to be very cautious once you see under roots you have to take a caution while talking about the degree order is clear it is involving two derivatives dy by dx and d2y by dx2 and hence the highest order derivative happens to be of order 2 therefore the order of this differential equation is 2 but while talking about degree do i have to get rid of this under root or not now that depends on whether y and its derivatives are polynomials in uh, this differential equation or not now d2y by dx2 happens to be free of fractional power but dy by dx is involving a fractional power which is 1 by 2 so in order to decide the degree we have to do some calculative manipulation to get rid of the under root which is appearing with dy by dx so we can square both the sides to write it as d2y by dx2 plus 8 whole square and hence the degree won't be 1 here though we did not have any fraction to begin with with d2y by dx2 because it was appearing with dy by dx and to decide the degree we have to ensure that the differential equation is a polynomial in all the derivatives of y and y itself so since it was having a trouble here with the under root sign being attached to dy by dx so we had to square both the sides before we talked about the degree the order was 2 and the degree also happens to be 2 because you need to square it even though d2y by dx2 was not involving a fractional power so i hope this is clear to everybody now let's look at the next one e to power dy by dx is sin x plus x now e to the power dy by dx is something that should catch your eye e to the power dy by dx you know e to power x has, has, has an infinite expansion 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus so on it never ends it's an infinite expansion so that means this happens to be an infinite expansion in dy by dx and there is no other derivative so the order happens to be 1 because only dy by dx is involved but dy by dx is an infinite expansion the powers are never terminating therefore the degree again is not defined for this expression this differential equation does not have a well defined degree so such questions need to be kept in mind while we talk about order order certainly will be there order is easy to identify also because you just have to see the derivatives which are appearing in the differential equation and then see which one is the highest order one that happens to be the order of the differential equation also but to talk about degree you just do not have to see the highest order derivative you have to see all the derivatives of y together with y and ensure that it's a polynomial in all of them before you comment on the degree of the differential equation so let's look at the sixth one so e to power dy by dx was problematic but e to power x is allowed 
you know it has to be a polynomial in y and its derivatives so with x anything can be there x to power 1 by 3 to power x sin x everything is allowed so look at this one this one has two derivatives involved one is dy by dx one is dq y by dx cube so obviously the order happens to be 3 because that's the highest order derivative but to talk about the degree when you talk about the degree of this differential equation you have to see that it's a polynomial in y and its derivatives and luckily this equation is a polynomial in y and it's all its derivatives and hence we can just decide the degree looking at the power of d3y by dx cube here and it happens to be 1 therefore the degree is 1. So I hope the idea of order and degree is clear to everybody here, everybody watching the video I mean. Now before I end this video I want to uh, end it with a line of caution then you must have seen these two kinds of derivatives somewhere two different notations of derivatives being used at different places this is the d notation dy by dx and this is the del notation del y by del x there's a very very important difference between these two notations and one should not confuse while writing d or del you have to be clear on the context this symbol dy by dx indicates that y is a function of a single independent variable only there is just one single independent variable x on which y depends and the rate of change of y with respect to x is captured via dy by dx which is called the ordinary derivative of y with respect to x because y is not changing with respect to anything else and those equations which involve ordinary derivatives are called ordinary differential equations whereas this symbol del y by del x is used to denote the partial derivative of y with respect to x which means that y is not just a function of a single independent variable x but there are more independent variables as well. How many? That's not clear in this notation but yes of course there are more than one. It's not just a function of x, it's a function of more independent variables also. So this del y by del x notation is reserved for the change of y with respect to x treating all other independent variables as constants and the differential equations which involve partial derivatives are called partial differential equations and these derivatives are called partial derivatives. So while you talk about differential equations you should be very clear on this idea and this notational difference also because it's a very common tendency of students to confuse between these two notations. D stands for the ordinary derivative and del stands for the partial derivative and with this we come to the end of this introductory video. In the next uh, videos we are going to learn the techniques for solving some first order first degree differential equations. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.